Hi guys, welcome back to Fly High Balloons Creation. If you're new here, we are glad to have you. My name is Deborah, and please consider subscribing to our channel if you like and find the content helpful. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this dazzling photo backdrop that will make your pictures truly stand out. So let's get started. To create the backdrop, start by laying out your base fabric against a clean wall. This will serve as the foundation of your photo backdrop. I use two of my 5x10 black polyester photo curtains and I attach them securely using thumbnails. To create a sparkling and magical touch, I integrated screen lights onto the backdrop, attaching them securely using thumbnails. Tips guys, hang your main screen lights first before unwrapping them. And also make sure to test the lights beforehand to ensure they are all working. To add depth and dimension to the backdrop, I will be incorporating balloons. To attach the balloons onto the backdrop, I use adhesive hooks and tie tightly 260 cues and tie both ends tightly together, making a rubber band. Tip guys, make sure to put down painter's tape first before applying these adhesive hooks to protect your walls. To create a dramatic and texture look, I attach these gold metallic finger curtains onto the top of the backdrop, allowing them to cascade down, creating a shimmering effect reminisce of a cascade of fireworks. I use thumbtacks to attach the metallic curtains onto the backdrop and this will allow me to use the curtains again. I use a second layer for each curtain that I use, making a total of six curtains. I incorporated this less party neon sign to add a touch of magic and excitement to the celebration. I attached it securely using fishing line and adhesive hooks. I tied tightly fishing line into each hole on the neon sign and onto each of the adhesive hooks. I 
I prepped my balloons and created clusters of eight balloons with using seven 11 inch balloons and one 18 inch balloon. Colors I use are fashion black and reflex gold. To build my balloon garland, I tied them together using the neck to neck method. I made a video on how to make balloon clusters. If you missed that video or you don't know how to make balloon clusters, the video will be linked up in the right hand corner. Now that the garland is built, I secured it onto the backdrop, looping the rubber bands around the balloons. I used a rubber band to attach the side garland by looping it around one of the balloons in the garland and looping it around one of the balloons in the top garland. Once your garland is securely in place, step back and make any necessary adjustments to the balloons in the overall shape. At the bottom of the garland, I added a cluster of eight balloons to fill it out a little. I attached it securely using a rubber band. To make sure the bottom of the balloon garland does not move, I use the H method with tape to secure the balloons. Using the rubber band method, I added many balloon clusters to the actual base of the balloon garland to give it texture and to bring the balloon garland to life. To add a touch of glimmer and shine, I attached these stars to the garland using my glue dashes. Final tips, make sure your backdrop is securely fastened to the wall to avoid any accidents during your photo sessions 
and experiment with different arrangements and combinations to find the look that suits your celebration theme. There you have it, your very own DIY photo backdrop that's sure to make your celebration memorable. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Fly High Balloons Creations for more creative ideas. Once again, we'd like to thank all of our subscribers for your support. And I'd like to give a special thanks to my little helper, my granddaughter, Janae, for helping me with recording this video. Thank you, big girl. Momo love you. <laughs> Guys, if you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments down below. And a cheers to a sparkling new year. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. And we will see you in our next video. Bye.